Thank you so much for watching Tomofujita Music. Again, this is Squire. <laughs> Funny part is, um, I was so busy, so um, I bought this Squire probably last year somewhere, sometime last year, and uh, I didn't have time to open it. So today, finally, I opened you know uh, the package, and um, I found found out no no guitar case, just you know a bunch of. Uh, um for stuff in in um uh, yeah so basically i clean up so i thought maybe i can tell you what to look for what to fix the guitar when you receive i mean in this case i just bought the used one very cheap okay so this is so let's take a look it's a little noisy yeah nice fia fiesta red uh, uh, honestly, I didn't really need it, but just I thought kind of cool, you know. And um, eBay, this was um, fifty-one dollars, and shipping was twenty-nine ninety-nine. Not bad. So Squire, and uh, first. Okay, so I open up a package carefully, and string was really loose. It's almost no pitch. Okay, first like that, and then when I look at the fretboard, very dirty. And the uh, surface was okay, but then there's a sticker, you know, a little bit here and some sticker, and here's a sticker. So I just peel that, and uh, so when I did this, I turned, I, I heard a something moving I was like, what's that and then I realized these pickups are moving it's in other words see the pickups supposedly have a um, sort of you know a tight spring between between um, screw and the pickups right to hold the pickup so somehow just moving okay all right so I have to fix that so first thing I did um, Okay, so I took the strings off, and I I know it's really dirty. It's a st special sticky stuff. So I use this. So I don't know what's the best way to do. Somebody said you use like a hold it like this. I don't know. How's that? Too close? Too close? I don't know. Anyway. That's good. All right. So this um, number two, and so it's a you can clean a lot of stuff, you know. So I I like that the Dario, you know. And then so so basically I took the strings off, still a little dirty, and then you know apply that and just you know clean so that stuff. I mean this is this is good good enough, right? So pretty clean. Okay, clean clean all right so I just cleaned so that's okay so now next one I took the strings off you know and then I knew the fretboard is very dirty and I don't know how dry it is, so I use this again how you focus on it is it better maybe how's that how's that Ooh. I don't know how you do this. Anyway, can you see that? Maybe I practice, make you know video. But anyway, so that this one, I just apply, you know, like okay, and then I used to use just you know cl cloth to wipe, but then it gets really dirty. I have to wash it. So now, you know, I just I'm just lazy. So I use the paper towel. I mean, just cheap guitar, you know, just paper towel, right? And um, so I apply this, few drops all over the place. Use my bare finger, just you know, rub off, rub off around, and then I just wipe. Here's the important part. I really care about the frets, like a smooth. I like a smooth, you know. So in a fretboard, you know, I don't know who's playing, so it's dirty, right? So this is the part I spend at least one hour or more just to do this so i get really 
really tired my hand because literally I just go each each fret I don't know how long maybe like you know 30 times going and and un, until I don't really see the dirt so I so I apply that um I have a little I don't I don't really use this lemon oil So this is okay. I can't really see. Oh yeah. So, but anyway, so I use that, this, this guy. Okay, so I use that. It's really good. And um, yeah, so I apply that, smell good. Yeah, because you don't know who's playing. Play it on. So you see a fretboard, really clean. See that, really clean. Yeah. So I spent about more than one hour before the dinner. I was doing this, you know, clean, clean, clean. So I can see each fret fretboard. I can see a lot of dirt come off from that, you know. And I used three, four, you know, paper to really go each one, the each fret. And so uh, this guitar, you know, I was lucky because it's a it's it's pretty good condition just dirty that, that was dirty you know and so sometimes frets is really um like a surface is not really smooth but this guitar i, I mean so, i think somebody already to me somebody already worked on it i, I could tell because this is new nut usually uh squire has a little narrow nut somehow but this is evenly really nicely so and also this edge really fixed it this is somebody worked on it yeah somebody worked on it but the funny part is when i open up a pick guard each each um um spring you know between the pickups was kind of a hanging on magnet of pickups so that i don't this is what i understand what did you do take take all um spring from each pickup so six springs were just hanging from the pickups i don't know why the pe person did and just in case i um um volume part i just i use this vintage one i use this vintage one so this is a really good one clean you know so i clean the part right and so make sure us so when I when I put the you know pickups together with the uh, springs, so before I put the pick guard with the screws, I plug into the amplifier and then this is what I do use just you know use um screwdriver, so volume all the way up and I go like this, you know just my uh, ample <laughs> like that okay then then you know they go like this. And I, I just turn the, you know, um, tone, make sure. Now, now, middle pickup. Okay, works. And then rear pickup. So this way, before you put everything back together, you understand electronics is working. And then this, this was good too. Okay, I can see when I wiggle, now moving. So I, I, I guess this guitar, somebody wants took took care of you know like a repair and almost like a maintenance and then everything was good so that's why when i tuned um okay so clean clean the you know um neck and then okay put the pick guard together back back together and i put the spring and then this is hard to understand but um maybe you can see a little bit so what i do usually i i lower front front side you know base side so i would say one two millimeter lower than treble side can you see that a little bit i think you can see see better than cell phone i'm using this camera so it's nice all right so you get the idea right this side is lower base side lower this and um okay so just just as much as you can let's look right and um 
see my camera works is not great but at least you can sort of see you know again all right all right where are okay so so <laughs> several sticker was on kind of dirty neck was very dirty somebody has really dirty hands playing this one so um i can see so i cleaned that and okay so after cleaned um i i i put the strings on right so then uh decide string you know i was wondering where should which one should i do you know maybe excel excl or maybe this one and then usually cheap guitar and this strings has a little bit more mid range so i like that one so an expensive <laughs> vintage guitar actually this is good because simple you know yeah so anyway choices and put the string together and i mean put the strings and then um usually this is what i do i have an acoustic guitar right here see that you hear that I hear that I then tune up A then after that I play by ear I don't use a tuner to tune up I use tuner to do fine tune or something else but normally when I'm home I try to tune up by my ear because if I do tuner then my eye is tuning up I'm not using my ear just like a tablature you know you have to be careful and more and more people using tuner and they don't really hear the difference you know so uh, make sure you use your ear so now then i put you know tuning up and i realize okay bridges keep keep moving so what's happening this is good too so i put tens if you use use a guitar if you buy use a guitar you don't know previous owner were using lighter string or heavy strings In this case previous owner was using probably nines you know and then i put the tens so as soon as I tune up, bridge move a little bit like this, you know, move, you know, almost floating. And if I, I didn't really play anything, huh? So like you, if, if I bend, it just, you know, you hear, hear that? Slightly move. That's how I like it. But before, if I bend up, it's almost like a half step lower. So, in that case, I open up here. Open up. A, uh, what do you call this one? I don't know. So, I take this out. And then, I should show you, but I turn the um, s s um, spring. Yes. Back, back spring, yeah, three of them, but there's a two places you can turn. I wish I can show you. Um, yeah, let's see. I have a kanji guitar. Yeah. yeah, I mean, same strap. So like that, you see? This one has five strings. Uh, see, this part, you know, this part you tighten. Tighten till your guitar is staying, I mean, staying tuned, means like, um, once you tune up, bridges kind of a sit on, sit on uh, body. Kind of hard to explain everything, but so um, you follow me? Oh yeah, before yes, before I put the string on, I clean this part. Make sure you know I really clean with cloth. You know, yeah, I use that cloth. You know, just clean. This is from East Village Guitars from Japan, Kyoto, Japan, my favorite place. So, um, yes, so I was lucky, like I told you, these frets are already somebody take care of once, so that very nice and clean. All I have to do is really clean the dirt, all right. But sometimes, like for example, uh, if you buy Squire new guitar, sometimes you know, fret surface is not really smooth, so that case, I use this. This is um, sort of a light, light sandpaper. 
not the stamp paper. I shouldn't say it. I have this paper somewhere, but um, yeah. So basically, uh, yeah, I can show you. Yeah, this, this type, like, you know. Yeah, so really cool, you know, yeah. And then this is a, a polish plate. So basically, if you take this, this part, see, this comes off like this, you know. Oops. This is jumbo, and this, oops, yeah. Oh, I'm just improvising. See? So, like a surf, you know. So, you cut this part, put on the frets, and then use this paper, you know, back and forth to clean. Really nice. I like that. So, I, I get this a lot. You know, this guitar already, um, pretty good condition I could tell so I decided not to use any tuner so basically up to now this is about two hours I would say two hours or a little bit more after I open up from the you know shipping case and really dirty and I clean your question how it sounds sounds okay not great up to here sounds okay but from here it's buzz a little bit so means like somehow uh, neck is not completely straight I did a little bit of fix you know because neck was a little bit bold this this way and um, so I use this you know I, I can just demonstrate too like so like stick in here here you go, see, sticking here. Then you can turn, I mean, like a little bit like this. One, can you see? The, just a little bit. I shouldn't do it because I already set up a good so. Yeah, I mean, just like a little bit angle and just gradually, so you know, you turn clockwise to, you know, turn the neck this way, you know. move so anyway yeah so up to here is the sounds I want to hear buzzing later so like a slightly buzz so what's happening is if I pick harder I don't really get the full sound so around here I have to pick softer once I hit harder I just don't get any tone. That's where bad habit begin usually. Usually with a cheap guitar, you have to be very careful because what's happening is if you buy cheap guitar, set up really nice is impossible sometimes, some parts, right? So what, what happens is this is called dead point. It's sort of a, no matter what you do, it just, you don't get really great sound, you know? So what's happening is the higher part, oh, the here. Like that. It's not full sound, it's kind of buzzing. Then easy to hit harder because you don't get the full sound. Like that. You see, once you hit like that, and there, there's no dynamics. And once you hit, hit like that, you there's no way to improve touch. Like, um, yeah, easy way to say, if you wanna sound like John Mayer, you you don't get the touch from this guitar, play that part because it's just impossible to create that. That's why you have to have a decent guitar, a pretty good guitar to really really improve. You know, I mean this particular instrument just happened to be like a higher part is kind of dead. You know, and of course I just opened up a few hours ago. So. sort of reality test, you know, right? And this is a pro reverb. Nice, yeah. A 
sounds pretty good. So this guitar has a more bass, bassy sound than the bottom sound. See, nice bass. But if you go higher, right here, there's no bass. Like that. It's buzzing. So that case, right? You know, it's a little bit trick we can do. It's I I set up this is more like a just a find, but you if you want to do a little bit more detail, I would do just a tr let me try this one. Oops, sorry. So what happened is this guitar particularly has a magnet, has a very heavy magnet, so definitely produce a lot of bass. So on purpose, I lower the uh, bass side, so as if sounds better. Also, you hear that sustain better now. Oh, nice. Noise cancellation. It's very subtle, but I just lower the uh, <laughs> lo lower the bass side, so as if this guitar sounds better. So, <laughs> it's like so many things we can do. So right now, the volume is about eight. Sounds okay. That's real.
I, ha I have to need I have to do a little bit more setting <laughs> yes I think a little bit more like this I hope you enjoy I hope I hope someone understand a little bit about the guitar setup It's a it's like a, just a cable, you know, plug in straight. So. That's a front. Wow. Pick up a little intro. What do you think? Like that? Look pretty good, right? Yeah, this watch. Actually, it's really light. I like this one. I mean, maybe I can fix it a little bit and higher part, but you know, it's just cheap guitar. Yeah, there you go. How are you? Oops, this, this is. Oh, yeah, how's that? Maybe? This way? Maybe? Yeah, so that's it. I hope, see, nice and clean. I cleaned it. Thank you so much for watching Tomohuji the Music again. All right, so see you soon. Take care.